All right, troops, we are Vambi here. Uh, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Today we are playing Burnhouse Lane, but before we start this game, I have to tell you that this game is gonna be very dark. It is gonna have probably a lot of things that may trigger people because this game is done by Harvester Games and if you have been on my channel for a long time you will know that Harvester Games also did um, Downfall, Cat Lady and Lorelei and all of those games are very dark. They have elements of um, taking your own life, they speak about things about eating disorders, there's a lot of torture, there's gore, there's nudity, all that kind of stuff. So, this came up with the exact same warning, nudity, gore, it's definitely an 18 plus game and whether you're 18 plus or no, if certain things like that trigger you, please do not watch. With that, for the people who are fine to watch and love the Harvester games like I do, I'm glad to have you here and we're going to start a new game because Jen was testing to see if this works. So, um, save often and be cautious. Most enemies will kill you with a single hit. That's great to know. Think twice before you say or do something. Your choices have consequences that cannot be undone. For the best experience, play with a controller and headphones. This is the first game from Harvester Games that's asked you to play with a controller. I am not playing with a controller. Um, but it's kind of weird that they ask you to play with a controller, but hey. Hi Angie, it's Tracy from the agency. I have good news. A job's come up, and it's a big one, just like you wanted. It's a long drive, southwest. Right in the middle of bloody nowhere. But, it's just one elderly gentleman living on a farm. Early dementia symptoms, so it's all pretty standard. You'll need to do some light cooking, but nothing too crazy. You know the drill. His regular carer's off sick, and he needs someone to keep an eye on the poor chap until she gets back. I'd go myself. It sounds like a lovely holiday in the country, but, you know, kids and I'm stuck in the office, as always. <laughs> You'll love it there. I'm sure you will. Uh, Angie? I can't. Something's come up. I'm sorry. Indeed to walk. Okay, this character straight away reminds me of the character that was, um, the actress that was in, um, Luther, a detective thing. She was a serial killer. Ends up working with them for some reason, um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, what is these things? So I take it we can interact. There's n the last thing I want is a coffee table breaking under the weight before I'm even. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Well, that's no good. That's 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 not what I expected. We're just in the game already. Let's uh, pick up the picture. And we broke it. Well, it was an accident, hen. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. I think that's going to make me want to smoke. It's funny because I'm pretty sure the cat lady, the character Susan, she smoked as well. She used to go in her balcony and smoke. Okay, I see what's happening here. Can we kind of... Yeah, we're gonna... We're, we're starting dark already, guys. Alright. Okay. This is so dark. And I'm reckoning, I don't know if this is part of your choices, but... Yeah. 
I mean, it's what they expect us to do. It's a Harvester game. These last two months have been the best months of my life. Will you marry me? After a couple of months? A nurse falling in love with a patient? God, no. Marrying a dying man. I never understood why she did it. Japan? Are you kidding me? Of course I want to go. It, it's only like the best place on earth. I'd like to go to Japan. I'm afraid there. the patient is not responding to the treatment. We should start planning palliative care. No, oh, that sucks. April. That's perfect. We're going to see the cherry blossoms. James really shouldn't be travelling in his current condition. I'm sorry, but I can't allow it. <sighs> it's alright. We'll go once I'm done with this. <sighs> Fucking keeper. Angie. I'm... sorry. He was... James was a great guy. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss. <gasps> That's a nasty cop, Angie. Should go have that locked out. Oh, please tell me she's okay. okay as well. You look a bit pale. <laughs> I've always felt sorry for her, but no one really said anything. I have bad news, Mrs. Weber. Oh dear. Worst and afraid. It's lung cancer. Late stages. But didn't her husband die of cancer last year? Both of them? What are the odds? Maybe if we found it sooner. But at this point, it's so far gone. I feel like a doctor would say that to you. I'm sorry, Mrs. Weber. Maybe if you find it sooner, we could have saved you, but no, no. You have about. Oh, we should have picked a better beam. Burn house lane. See what I mean, guys? We always start off quite dark in these games. Every single time. Tracy, I've changed my mind. I'll take that job. That's great. I'll be honest. I thought people would fight each other over those few weeks in Devon, but guess what? Nobody wants to go. The clean country air, the double pay. I mean, what's not to like? But right, guys, it's all right. I've got my best <laughs> nurse on the job now. It's all good. I know things have been hard for you. I'm glad you've changed your mind. It'll be good for you to go out there and, uh... Tracy, this is probably my last job. I just need to save up some money and then... I want to travel for a bit. Go to Japan. See the cherry blossoms. See well, the cherry okay. blossoms. You've not had a holiday abroad for years. By all means, go. But you'll be back, right? So I'm, I'm you know taking it. Home. She hasn't told Bye. anybody that she's dying. But yeah, at the beginning there, or like she, maybe she just not told her work that she's dying. Because the beginning there, they were all like, oh, she's got cancer, so did her husband die of cancer? What's the odds? Chapter one. Don't let the cats in. There's normally about five to six chapters in, in these games, guys. So it's going to be a long game. So they're in Devon. Which is a nice part of England. 
guess I'm in control now. Okay, so we can run, which is good, because we're probably going to have to do a lot of running in this game. And I just ran right into the door. You must be Angie then. Come in, come in. Thanks. Thanks, Angie. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Dad's regular carer was in a car accident recently. Oh. Nothing life-threatening. But she's had some pins and screws put in her knee and it'll be months before she can get back to work. Now, I would have loved to take Dad with me to the city. I could have him close to where I work. I'd look after him myself. But he won't have it, the stubborn old fool that he is. Still, he's lived in this house his whole life. He was born just there in the other room. He might as well spend what time he has left here on the farm where he's happy, right? Yes. It's a beautiful place, indeed. It is. I can appreciate it more now. But to be honest, for a young girl growing up here wasn't exactly exciting. Not everyone was born to be a farmer, right? You should meet Dad. Yes, no. Come with me. He's in the lounge. Here's a question, guys. I After call you. the lounge the living room. I've always called it the living room. It's always the living room. But I noticed that a lot of people just call it the lounge. So I don't know if it's just a Scottish thing. Because this is the UK and they're saying the lounge. But I will always call it the living room. Oh. Could open the door for me, hen. Me, Angie, Dad. She's going to look after you until Joyce gets back. Hello, dear. Hi. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's from the office. I should take it. Okay. Hello. Hello? Hello? It's not really allowing me to interact Hi, with Sam. the no, old guy at the moment. I'm just showing the house to that new nurse. I'll be back before five. He's too busy watching TV stops. anyway. I don't think he cares. So. Oh, I know. He always does that. Yeah. See you soon. Ta-ta. Oh, I'm really strapped for time today, I'm afraid. I'll just explain everything quickly and leave you to it. All right, then. Go for it. I'll need you to cook for George. He prefers the good old classics, nothing too complicated. The truth is, he'd just eat sandwiches every day if he could. Mm. But don't let him do that. Don't let him I'll do leave that. I'll a list of his favourite meals. Anything that's there, just help yourself. She actually sounds like... She's for Bristol. Here's Dad's bedroom. He might occasionally need help with this or that, but on most days he still manages to dress on his own. I'm not sure, maybe... And here's the bathroom he uses. Again, just watch him to make sure he doesn't slip on the tiles and break his hip or something. Okay. Dad likes to be called George. You can take him for a walk sometimes if the weather's okay, but he prefers to spend most of the day here watching TV. That means you'll have plenty of time left for yourself. There's lots of old books in the house if you ever get bored, and an old computer in the office. But I'm not sure if it works. Probably not. And finally, my old bedroom. That's your space now, so make yourself at home. Just don't let the cats in. They get too cosy indoors and they never want to leave. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a cat. And he has a huge key. Hello? Guess we're going to have to get that. Bye, cat. Any social cat? Just say hello. I've left a little guidebook on the kitchen table for you. Make sure to check it every now and then, you know, when you get stumped. Oh. Please, keep a close eye on George. I know he seems fine most of the time, but he does have his moments. So I'm taking it the guidebook is if we get stuck in what we're doing, it's kind of like a hint or it just simply tells you what to do. Well, I'm guessing what we should do first is save it. There you go, Angie. Save the game. 
Yeah, I don't know if Devon is anywhere near Bristol, but that was definitely kind of a Bristolian accent as well. That sounded like it to me. All right, me babbers, what's this? If you ever find something pretty, I can put it up on the shelf. All right, I guess, and we have a torch. Okay. We need to find this guidebook. That's locked. Let's go down. I take it where it went upstairs. I'm looking for the kitchen. That's the bathroom, Jen. It is not a kitchen. What's this? Examine. Oh, it's a basement. I ain't gone down there. Alright. Alright, okay, so I think the kitchen's here. So that's where George is sitting. Alright, so here's the guidebook, I'm guessing. Yes. Yes. Well done. Oh. Cool. Great. It will tell me if I get stuck. Perfect. Great. So, wait a minute. Um... I have to make a sandwich for George and I have to water the plants. Uh, that looks like something to water the plants with. So I'll fill it up here. Yeah, I can see that, thanks. Perfect. And then I'm going to ask George if he wants sa a sandwich since he's keen on sandwiches or we'll just speak to George. Let's talk to George. Anything good on the telly? Oh yeah, uh, it's uh, well, one of those um, American films. <laughs> ah, right. Let's ask him if he wants a blanket. Would you like a blanket? Well, that's very sweet of you, dear. But no, thank you. I'm quite warm. Okay. Uh, would you like a fancy cup of tea? Fancy a cup of tea? Oh, you just add one, thank you. George, I hope you're not making tea by yourself because the kettle's quite heavy. Wanna go for a walk? Wanna go for a walk? Oh, uh, that's a bit windy, isn't it? I suppose. <laughs> oh, I think I'll give it a mess, if you don't mind. No, don't mind at all, yeah. George. Sure. Completely up to you, pal. Would you like a sandwich then? Oh my god, look at this, just this person here before. This is all bloody awful, isn't it? I am not saying that to the poor guy. You hungry? Well, I don't know. Oh, oh yeah. I suppose I could always do with a nice sandwich if you have one. Alright, so let's go and make... Oh, is that my plants have to water? Yes. So that's one. And here is a massive plant here. It's two. So but once we go around about the house and find Mare, right now we'll do George a sandwich. A nope. Okay. It's a nope. If the electrician comes by to collect the tools he'd left in the basement last week, please tell him I've put the toolbox in the workshed outside in the front yard. Thanks, Sarah. Alright. Uh, check the calendar. It's September. Okay. It should be freezing then. Bread. Right, I wonder what kind of sandwich this guy's gonna let me. He's old, so. I don't know. They like a BLT, some bacon, and lettuce, and tomato. I made a strange sa- how is a BLT a strange sandwich? 
fine. I'll make another one. I'll eat that one myself. <laughs> Quite hungry. Ham then. And mustard. Ham and mustard. How is that a strange sandwich? How, how is that strange? Oh, is it because I didn't put the bread on top again? <laughs> Maybe that is a strange sandwich then. Bread. Is that better? Yes, there you go. Let's give this to George. All right, let's take George's sandwich. Here you go, George. Together we'll make. He seems to be enjoying his sandwich. Oh, that's good. Right, so I need to go and find where the other plants are. Oh, here's one. So, um. How much water is she using? Is this where she showed me the bathroom? Because I want to refill the um this. I know we've only got one more left, but there was not a lot of in there. Right, so now we're looking for a plant. Where's this? Oh, that's where the computer is. Let's see if it's working. It's not working. All right, so it's not working. Is this George's room? Yes. George is the plan. There we go. Oh! Oh no, this means you want me to go in the basement? I don't want to go in the basement. Where's the basement again? I don't even remember where the basement was. Just in here, in it. It's next to stairs. Oh! Time for bed. Night, oh. night, my dear. Oh, okay. Good night, George. Oh, I almost forgot to thank you for that sandwich. I really enjoyed it. No, oh, that's good. <laughs> You're welcome. Joyce never makes him like that. It's always porridge or pasta or bloody marmalade on toast. <laughs> She just won't listen. If you're still here come winter time, I'll buy you an orange for Christmas. Oh, thanks, George. I like an orange. Do you know, guys, it's a true thing. Mama has dementia. And my ma loved a lot of different stuff. Um, she loved, like, cauliflower and cheese, like homemade ca cauliflower and cheese and stuff like that. Um, and... When I was cooking for her and I would make it for her, like the stuff that I knew she liked, she she would be like, I I'm not eating that. I, I don't like that. That's that. I don't eat any of that fancy stuff. And I'm like, it's cauliflower and cheese. So it, it shows you that, you know, if things change within their mind, she wouldn't even try it sometimes. And I'm like, oh my God, she used to make this herself all the time. So it's, it's you better just gain them whatever they want. Just give them, as long as they're going to eat, give them whatever they want. Where's the whispering noises coming from? There, the boiler. Okay. There is whispering noises. It's locked, I can't open it. All right, we're going to have to find something to open it. I'm taking it that um, I haven't really explored anywhere. So they said there was a toolbox in the barn. 
That's the bathroom. I keep going into this bathroom. Jen, get a grip. Right, so I think it's this way. I need to go back outside. Yes. So I need to go outside and I need to go to the barn because she said the electrician had left his toolbox and I'm taking it. Maybe there's something in there that can help us open the box. What the hell's that? Oh my god! Grow some sick bastard cut open this wrap, but why? Because they're sick! That's horrible! It's really stuck in there. Whoever did this must have been very strong. Who would have done it though? Oh my god! Right, this is, must be the toolbox. We are taking everything we can. Because why not? I take it we can try and get a screwdriver it. Oh. Okay. That's disgusting. Oh, there's massive spider webs in here. Not even little. Anybody would think there was like arachnophobia in there. Alright, we need to go back to the basement. And get the lights back on. Is it this door, won't it? Yes. Right. It's the only door I ask you to examine, close the door, or go down. Something keeps making a creaking noise. Right, so let's use the screwdriver, I reckon. <laughs> Perfect. Flip the switch. Ta da! Woo, cat! Oh. Hello again, little one. It's alright. You don't have to be afraid of me. I don't bite. Better know. I'm very curious about that key on your neck. Me too. What's it for? Would you mind if I borrowed it? I feel like... Ew, what <laughs> the heck's that? Kitty? What is with that Don't leave me alone down here. What's with that boiler? A red blinking eye of the boiler? Of the boiler? Okay. Where'd the cat go? Hey cat! Um, I'm just gonna go and... Oh, okay, I can't... It won't let me go and see where the banging is coming from. I'll come down later. <clears throat> come back down later once I follow the cat. Do we really want to play hide and seek? Come on, kitty. There you are. Is that a hamster cage? Are you trying to tell me something, Kate? Maybe you're hungry. I should get you some food. What's so interesting about that old cage? What's so interesting about this old cage? Oh, well, I guess it would have been standing next to the cage before I did that. Are you trying to tell me something, Kitty? Yeah, let's uh, examine the cage in a minute once I've went through all of this. It's all right, Kitty. All right, listen. Oh, that's what it's trying to tell me. There's a dead hamster inside the cage. Judging by the pink collar, I can only assume it was a girl. Pick up the hamster. I don't want to put a dead hamster in my pocket if I can avoid it. So, all right. Well, we're looking for something to put the hamster in. Okay. It's time to search for something. I'm going to search the kitchen first because I reckon... There'll probably be like a uh, like a biscuit tin or something like that that we can put it in. <clears throat> Actually, have you searched this side of the house? Where is this? Oh, this is the garden. Ain't it here? 
Just try to get used to the actual, what's this? Oh, this looks like I dug up tiny graves or slightly decomposed hamster inside. Great, well, you're about to have a pal in with you. Right, this is locked, so we need to find a key for this later. Might be the key that the cat's got around its neck that we're trying to get off at. Wonder if I've maybe give the cat some food. Maybe the cat? Oh, we'll see. We'll check the kitchen first. We'll see if we can find anything. It's a fridge. Not right now. Okay, so we kind of go back in there. Um, slightly rusted sink. So let's just check the cupboards. Oh, there's a box we can use. Wonder if we can get the cat to eat. Right, so we managed to get a box to put the hamster in and food for the cat. Okay. I need to go back down there as well and see what that banging was. Let's do this first though. Do you, do you want a tin of tuna? Cat doesn't seem to be okay. Cat's clearly not hungry, but let's use the box on this. Great. What the hell am I doing? I don't know what you're doing. Where are you going? Where are you off to now? Maybe it's in the garden then I'm taking it. Alright. Let's follow the cat. Were you friends with these rodents? Is that why you brought me here? Might have been. Let's uh... Let's bury them together. Aww. Rest in peace, old guys. Two lovers sleeping forever in a shared grave. Oh, she's full I wish I was this lucky. Happiness. I'll probably just have worms with me in the coffin, munching on my carcass. Lovely. And spiders. Horrible fucking spiders. She really doesn't like God spiders, damn. I'm guessing. I'm really not ready for any of this. This shouldn't be happening. I don't want to die. I'm telling you this because you're a cat. And cats know about these things. Of course they do. Right, we're gonna pet the cat first because I don't think we should just try and grab the key from the cat. See, the cat likes us. Now we'll take the key. Thank you, darling. Hmm. Now, I wanna see if it's for this door, because this door's locked. No. Alright, we're going to go back to the basement, guys. I want to know what that banging noise was. If it's a door and it's locked, then maybe this key's for that. Um, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Okay, then this way. is locked. So I'm guessing that this is probably the key for it. Yes! Yes! Okay. Maybe I 
Okay, watch our turn. Alright, we have doors. There's someone moving in there or something, either way, I don't really want to know. Okay. That's impossible, I am going crazy. Alright. What the hell is that? Well, I think I'm losing my mind. No, this can't be real. What the hell is that? Oh, that's me! Got the same boots. And you see the scarf. Wow, that's creepy. I can smell smoke. Smoke. It's just a torch. Alright. I'm guessing... There's no sounds coming from this door. This is going to be some sort of puzzle. A hospital bed is this where I'll be spending my final weeks. Examine. Ancient corpse of a woman is bound by dry roots. There's a metal rod sticking out of her abdomen and a piece of paper. What could it be? Well, pick, pick it up. Right, and we'll read it. Here lies a path to Burnhouse Lane. One, with the blue sky above you whisper, I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. Alright. Is this? No, I don't want to look closer. I look shit. That was too narrow. Okay, so we we'll need a screwdriver. Alright. Uh, take a scrap of paper. And. Okay. Alright. We have another door. This one's making a weird noise. It's a barrel full of glowing liquid, and there's a button here. I think that's further than there. What is this one day? Fire everywhere, the glowing light feels as bright as the sun. I think, yeah, I think that's it. So this, to me, looks pretty much... Let me get this one down here. Remember seeing this picture here? Right, okay. Right, so let's read. We've got three of these now. So it says, two, as the reptile's gaze falls upon you, ask her, is this the end? And the third one says, with these words, pray to the gods at the altar of sun, uh, I give myself to you. Right, so this is a clearly a puzzle to which we have to say these things at the right door. So the first one, what's the first one say? Okay, with the blue sky above your whisper at night, okay. So I reckon this is the blue sky here. So this is the first one. I'm only afraid of dying because I haven't lived yet. Okay. And then the second one says, as the reptile's gaze falls upon you, ask her, is this the end? Right, I reckon... I reckon it's this one because this is the only person who's actually sitting and she's got lady's shoes on. Looks like kind of like strap, strap shoes that's staring at me. So... Is this the end? Right. 
And then the next one talks about an altar and a sun and I noticed at the very end here there's a sun drawn at the back of the door. It was the very last door here. So I reckon that's this one. I give myself to you. Yay! <laughs> yeah, well, that's a that's a good guess. If you saw this, you would think you were dreaming. You would you would think that you had fell asleep or you died and you were going to hell. Since we're going down so low. Doesn't it look like good stuff that she fell into? Oh. Is there any way or anything in here? Anything, anything to the other side? It's not. Fine then, we'll just go up. I think um, at the next save is probably where I'll end this episode guys and I will see how this does now we're in Burnhouse Lane because um, I'm only going to be doing videos and continue like the story if they do well like for instance put Propagation up the brand new game that's out the VR game and it didn't do very well at all so I really feel like there's no much point in continuing on with a game if it's not going to do very well because um, a lot of work goes into it you know having to record it and then edit it and, and do the thumbnail for it and all that sort of stuff um, it's just no point to put it up and then there's like 12 people that watch it um, sometimes I think that's YouTube's fault that they don't put it out there for people to see or sometimes I think it's just the way the tagging works with the videos so I will see how well Burnhouse Lane the first episode does first before um, deciding whether to do another episode and that's just what I'm going to do with majority of games now because um, it, it, you do put a lot of work into videos everybody does not everybody's got an editor <laughs> You can edit other stuff, especially small channels. Okay, what's that? Stinks so bad. These rubbish bins have to be emptied for a while. Locked. Doors locked. Doors locked. Wow. We're not really getting anywhere fast, are we? Burnhouse Lane Park. There's tons of barbed wire and chains all around us. We're not getting in there either. Cherry Blossom. Cherry Blossom charity shop. It's a bit weird, is it? No. Since she was talking about Japan and going to see the cherry blossom cheese. Okay, kebab shop. There's a kebab shop. Oh, the food looks no good. Oh, that's a safety point. Hello. We'll have a conversation yes, yes. first, guys. Hello. I know you're in a hurry, but please, I'm almost done here. I'll be with you as soon as I finish this last portion. All right, pal. You a smoker? Fancy a smoke while you wait. Go ahead. That ashtray is there for a reason. You want me to smoke in a restaurant? <laughs> I really wouldn't go as far as calling it a restaurant, darling. Actually, yeah, you know what? Your topless. I will have one. That's all right. Now right, we have saved it. What the heck is that? 
this is giving me downfall vibes because remember the evil character was called Sophie and she had many forms and one of her forms she was a really big lady um, yeah great uh, brilliant so before I go back and speak to this guy, this guy we're just going to end it here and we'll have the whole conversation for you know the next episode guys I hope you enjoyed this episode if you did leave me a like leave me a comment if you're new to my channel and you enjoy my PC and VR content please subscribe and I shall see you in the next video bye bye